So you've got five days until your big event. There's parties coming up. It's officially holiday season. We've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas parties, we've got Halloween parties. We've got all these things that we wanna look our very best as well as we don't wanna derail our efforts that we've been making on a health and wellness journey. So this is typically what I would eat in a day either one day before the event, three days, five days, it doesn't matter how long you do it, you do it for as long as you can, you're going to look your very best and it's going to also compensate for any indulgences you may make at the party. So what I have here are some extra nutrients that I'm going to take before I start my day of food. I've got skinusa, which everybody knows how much I love it, um, extra nutrients so that you don't experience as many cravings. A digestive enzyme and a probiotic just to help with the food digesting in your system and flowing right through so that it's not sitting there and omega-3s um, you know just to take off the edge I mean omega-3s serve so many purposes but they take the edge off of a stricter meal plan let's move on here to some as well this is this would happen before your food warm water with lemon it's going to reduce cravings it's going to shut down suppress appetite as well as apple cider vinegar does the same thing it suppresses the appetite um, reduces cravings and it's just going to prepare your body for the day so that you set yourself up for a winning day so 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 important incorporate some peppermint tea it wouldn't hurt as well uh, breakfast it's we call it a green and white diet and it's uh, typically it's green and white for the reason that uh, certain foods combine well with each other and grains don't do well with most foods so when we talk about food combinations protein and greens combine really really well and are super easy on your digestive system and they flow right through so I'm gonna have a mini muffin egg white mini muffin with it's got asparagus and spinach in it why the asparagus? Asparagus acts like a diuretic and the spinach, we wanna stick with the leafy greens. Again, they're just gonna flow through your system. You wanna stay away from raw vegetables for this week. It's Raw vegetables are much more difficult to digest than cooked or leafy. For lunch, I'm gonna have a can of tuna salad with some dressing, uh, a clean dressing. You're gonna make it yourself, of course. Again, white, we're gonna stick with fish. Doesn't matter if it's tuna or halibut or any other kind of white fish. And then a leafy green salad. The food combination is fantastic here. Here are some vegetables just for, you know, uh, if you wanna snack on, if you wanna steam them would be best, especially for the fennel and the asparagus, you can steam them. The cucumbers you can eat raw. They hold a lot of water and are just going to go right through your system very easily. Last, I'm gonna have for dinner, again, it's going to be, it's white chicken and a salad. We wanna stay away from grains. Grains cause bloating, uh, grains ferment, they, they don't digest well, especially with proteins. If you're gonna have grains, uh, I suggest having them on their own or don't have them at all. It's a few days, you're going to want to look your very, very best and you can save you know, those grains for uh, the weekend that you're you know, gonna have maybe your, your cheat meal or whatever. What do we wanna stay away from? We're gonna stay away from fried foods. We're going to stay away from sugar and carbohydrates. Those are things that are very difficult on the digestive system. They take longer to digest and they can leave you bloated. And so we don't wanna do that. So good luck. I wish you the very, very best this holiday season and I wish you de-bloating.